key. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Uh, when and how did you find this out? And did you anticipate this at all? Or were you completely blindsided by the news? Um, I, I would say I was blindsided. Um, I kind of had a little heads up yesterday um, from Chris Holt. Um, but I don't want to look too far into it. You know, you, you see guys kind of get a, a, a heads up, I guess. And, you know, nothing ever comes from it. Um, and so, you know, I just kind of kind of took that with a grain of salt and, and went from there. Hey, Dan Connolly, you're up next. Congratulations, Keegan. I, I would assume that you anticipated that you pitch a little bit of AAA and then get the call. Um, and instead, it's it's working like this. How yeah. tough did, how tough is it for you to make this transition? What did you work on uh, down at the overflow camp? And can that benefit you at all as you, you know, as you first start to pitch in the majors? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, it's, it's a little different from, from years past with everything going on. So, but yeah, it was just, you know, the focus was come into the alternative site in Bowie um, and just get on my five-day rotation as a starter and, you know, just slowly build up. Um, you know, and face some, face some of the hitters down there and just basically just get going and get after it and just think, get things working. Rich, you're up next. Hey, Keegan, what did, you, uh, what did you get out of spring training this year that could help you uh, starting now? Um, you know, obviously it was, it was my first big league camp. Um, just kind of went in and just with open ears, you know, and, and ready to listen and, and learn. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to start, I think, three or four games um, in spring training. Um, and it was, it, was, it was good, you know, obviously. To, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. And just, you know, I just got to execute pitches, learn to execute pitches. If you leave your mistakes, they will hit it out of the ballpark. Um, I learned that the hard way. But, you know, it happens. John, you're up next. Keegan, congrats. Um, last year at Norfolk, you had a pretty specific plan on what they wanted you to work on and in terms of your off-speed and secondary stuff. Did you continue doing that while you were home during the shutdown and through the alternate site time? Yeah, yep. I would say that was that was kind of my main focus coming into spring this year. Um, and obviously with the shutdown being home, you know, I, I had to – I knew I had to just work hard on those and kind of keep those as priority. Um, knowing, you know, that if, when this day came, it would, it would all, I guess the pieces would all be there and everything would, it would work out and I would have those pitches and be a little more confident with them. Joe, you're up next. Hey, Keegan, I, 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 I kind of remember a story from a few years ago about you pitching in a barn in your backyard or something like that. Yeah. Uh, is, is that where you worked out this, this quarantine? Um, yeah, when we first got home, um, in March, you know, Michigan, Michigan's not the warmest at that time of year. And we were one of the states that got hit uh, the worst with the COVID. Um, and, and I mean, things were shut down to the point like you could, you were lucky enough to go to a gas station or a grocery store. That was really about all you had. Um, you know, I have some connections. I could work out at a facility in the Grand Rapids area, but you know, that was shut down too. So I kind of just had to, to fall back into the the barn thing, as much as I didn't really want to, you know, I kind of wanted to work with some of the pro guys over in that area, but it was just at that point I had to take what I could get, um, knowing, you know, coming in, it was kind of an important year, and, and those uh, those days were crucial at home. And, and and what was the story behind the barn again? Did you and your dad build it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had it built actually right next door to his house. Um, just from where I'm from, you know, there's, there's really not a lot of like facilities, especially indoor facilities um, for me to, to use, I guess, in the, in the off season in the winter. So um, I, I figured, you know, I'd build something there. Um, that, that way I can do everything at the house. Don't have to worry about driving. I think the closest facility to me now is 45 minutes. And that was just previously built, I think this off season. But before that, it would have been like an hour, hour 15 commute in bad weather. You know, I, I just kind of want to eliminate that and just, make life a little easier, walk out the back door, and there you go. David, you're up next. David, I think you're muted. There we go. Good to see you, Keegan. Congratulations. Um, to follow up on what John asked earlier, uh, is there anything stuff-wise that improved specifically that enabled you to turn this corner? Um, I would say just, I would say more confidence level, you know, and, and ability to throw them for strikes. I don't think they, they took off in the aspect of they had, they got better 
or I guess they, they did get better. Um, <laughs> I, I just feel more confident with them, like throwing strikes. Um, I wouldn't say my stuff uh, got better as in, you know, like slider, breaking more, change up, slower and slower. It's just I feel way more comfortable with them on the mound and, and more confident with it. Steve, you're up next. Keegan, when you've worked for a couple of years to get here, well, I mean, what is it like the day you hear your name called today? And uh, how do you think it'll be when you get in for the first time with nerves and so forth for you? Um, I actually, I, you know, I got the call. Um, I was actually about to go into, the, we didn't have any food at the house today. So we were going, my fiance and I were going to go grocery shopping and I, uh, I saw the name pop up on my phone. So I was like, well, I guess we're not going grocery shopping. And I answered it and it was just, I don't know. I didn't really have much to say. I really, it kind of caught me off guard. I mean, I, I, like I said, I had the little heads up yesterday, but I didn't want to take take that and look into it too far and, and, and get all worked up about it. But, uh, you know, it was definitely an exciting moment. Um, called mom, called dad, let them know, and they were all pumped up. So it was good. It was fun. Melanie, you're up next. Keegan, congratulations. These are those moments, though, that you always figure you get to have your family, your fiance with you at the park. Um, what's kind of been their reaction to it? You know, have you had to, like, buy the MLB package for them? But what's <laughs> setting for this yeah yep we actually I think my fiance she's actually at the apartment in Baltimore right now and she I think purchased the MLB app uh along with her family and my family so I don't think they get they get massing back home in Michigan so that was kind of kind of the gig there they're gonna get that and watch it and they'll be cheering me on from home okay. Joe you have a follow-up yeah, Keegan, I'm, 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 I'm just curious. Um, did you face Ryan Mountcastle down at the alternative site, and 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 how does he look down there? Yeah, actually, he uh, he hit a home run off me the other day. So <laughs> I, I would say things are going well for Ryan. Um, just you know, he's got to stick in there and show, and and work hard every day, and you know, hopefully, eventually, he'll hear hear his name called too. John, you have a follow up. Yeah. Keegan, um, have you been told at all when you're pitching or what the plan is at this point? Um, no, not no, not really. Just you know, got the call and said I I'm available tonight. So that's that's just, that's as much as I can tell you. <laughs>